In this video, I'm going to show you how to import cross sections defined in an existing HECRAS model to automatically convert them to Flood Modeler 1D cross section format. To start your import, you first need to start a new network in Flood Modeler. So, in the main toolbar under the Home tab, in the Network section, click on New. Here you can select the folder where you want your network to be saved. You can name it. It should appear here in the project panel and show as active. Then if you right click on the uh, network tables so on the right hand side of the of the interface, go to File, Import from HECRAS. You can import the geometry file. So if you open your folder, you should have .g01 or .g02 um, file. So in, the, in this case, it's a .g01. So I select this one. So once the, the file is selected, Flood Modeler will read the header of the specified file to determine the rivers and riches contained within the model. Flood Modeler defines a prefix name to be used to name all sections of the reach. So it usually is the first three letters of the associated river name and reach name. For each section, the prefix is used with the HECRAS section name, which is usually a number, to define a Flood Modeler section name. So a list of available cross sections will appear in a window. So here you can select um, a number of sections if you'd like so using the shift button or control button on your keyboard or you can select them all um, control a will do um, will do that um, and then you can drag them easily onto your network table here we go so here your network table and map view are populated with the selected HECRAS section so um, if the HECRAS sections include georeferencing information, the section will be georeferenced. Um, roughness data distance to next section and any panel markers, so where roughness changes across a section, um, will also be extracted from the HECRAS data and included in your new 1D cross section. To view the cross-sectional data, you can simply double click on a node. And if you click the plot button here, you can view a cross section plot. So at this stage, we recommend that you save the information. And the next step should be to check the, that the correct units are specified for your network. So there are two ways to, to do so. In the toolbar under the Home tab, if you click on general here and then select default settings, you can see here at the top radio buttons, you can choose SI, so metric, or US. And you can apply and click OK. Um, and the other way to do that is to go back to your network table, right click on general properties, and here same there's a drop down menu where you can choose um, your units so then if you want to um, display section lines so it's very simple you just need to go back to your project panel and drag your network onto the map and here you can see the section lines on on your map and this will appear in the layers panel here on the left hand side of um, your um, interface or screen and if you right click and go to properties you can also um, if you are on the, under the symbology tab you can change the color of your section lines so for example if we choose a light blue if you know the geo projection of your reference data, you can add base mapping to your map view. So if you go back to um, the toolbar here at the top under the Home tab and click on Base Map, you can select uh, the suitable mapping source 
Um, in this case, we're going to choose the Bing hybrid option. And here you go, you've got the background mapping showing uh, on your screen. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to convert HECRAS models to Flood Modular. For more information, please visit www.floodmodular.com.